Hi and welcome. This is Meditation and I'm Rebecca and I'm glad to have you with me today. So let's get started by finding a comfortable seat or meditation posture. I know some of us prefer to be either lying down or uh, sitting up and both are perfectly acceptable uh, meditation seats poses, you know, ways of ways of uh, being. As long as you can stay awake and lengthen your spine. For me, those are the two things. So allow yourself to settle, leaving behind the activities of the day, leaving behind anything that comes next. And if possible, leaving behind your concerns of the moment so that you can stay very present in this moment with what is happening right now with your breath and with your body. Begin to notice your surroundings. What are the textures around you? If your eyes are open, what are the patterns that you see? The colors, the light and darkness. I have a dear friend who has just lost her sight. And so let's please hold her in our hearts. She's also a survivor. And I want to find the way to alter my language so that people who can't see right now have inner sight. So allow your eyes to close if you're comfortable. And notice what you can notice in the inner body. Can you hear? Closing my door. What are the sounds in your space right now? It's interesting to meditate together, but separately. Because we're having different experiences and a shared experience. So noticing what's happening in your space, the sounds, the light, the textures around you. What do you feel beneath your feet, your body? What do you feel beneath your fingertips and the palms of your hands? Or any other part of your body that's making contact with the ground or with the rest of your body. Begin to turn your attention deeply inward to your own breath. Feeling the breath moving through the body. As you inhale, a sense of expansion. As you exhale, a release and letting go. As you inhale, lengthen your spine. If you're seated, reach the crown of your head towards the sky. As you exhale, continue to lengthen and sink a little further in to the ground below you. Breathing between earth and sky. Between a sense of groundedness and connection and a sense of reaching 
expanding. Both truths can exist at the same time. Breathing between earth and sky. Begin to smooth out your breath, erasing the pauses between inhale and exhale. You'll need to breathe a little more shallowly, a little shallower. But imagine a loop that the breath is flowing around this loop. The inhale fades into the exhale, fades into the inhale, and on and on. Stay with this loop. Now we'll shift once more into an ocean breath. As you inhale, that's the cresting of the wave. And the exhale is the breaking of the wave. Can you ride the breath to the top of the swell? And then the exhale allows you to drop back and in. Stay with an ocean breath. This works especially well if you're lying down, but it works efficiently seated as well. Feel the swell of the breath. That moment of suspended animation. And then the breaking and the letting go. Now release control and come into a natural and comfortable breath. Being aware of the effects of each of these breathing techniques on your breath. I'm going to read you a poem called Birthright. It's by Dana Folds. It's a poet that I read quite a bit. She's a yoga teacher and yoga therapist. Birthright. Despite illness of body or mind, in spite of blinding despair or habitual belief, who you are is whole. 
Let nothing keep you separate from the truth. The soul illumined from within longs to be known for what it is. Undying, untouched by fire or the storms of life. There is a place inside where stillness and abiding peace resides. You can ride the breath to go there. Despite doubt or hopeless turns of mind, you are not broken. Spirit surrounds, embraces, fills you from the inside out. Release everything that isn't your true nature. What's left, the fullness, light, and shadow, claim all that as your birthright. Begin to deepen your breath. And allow your body to come into one of the techniques that we explored at the beginning of class. Either breathing between earth and sky, breathing in the continuous loop, or using the ocean wave breath to access your true nature. Whichever breath you choose, allow your attention to focus on the movement of the breath through your body, the expansion and the release. the continuous nature of the breath. Allow the breath to lead you to your true nature. We'll come into some silence.
Who you are is whole, the soul illumined from within, a place inside where stillness and peace reside. Release everything that isn't your true nature. What's left, the fullness, light and shadow, claim all that as your birthright. Begin to deepen your breath, bringing small movements into fingers and toes. When you feel ready, bring your palms together. Feel the energy between them, the warmth, and then begin to gently rub. Allow the rubbing to get faster and faster, creating some heat, some friction. And when your palms are warm, cup your eyes and feel the heat penetrating. And as it dissipates, slowly blink your eyes open and release your hands down. We'll seal our practice with one chant of OM for the community we create when we practice together. I'd like to join bringing hands to heart center. We'll inhale together. Oh. Om. Om Shanti, peace, peace, peace. Jai Bhagwan. Namaste. Namaste.